today we're going to talk about getting more sales by using flyers and they they really are simple um, either A5 or A4 size if it's A4 you might want to fold them down into three you might not there's lots of different ways of doing it but whichever way they're cheap and I mean full color is cheap there's there's no point in doing a flyer and anything much less unless you're doing thousands upon thousands of them and even at that stage the price comes down and there's very little in it because most of the cost is paper and a little bit of ink. Um, easy enough to design, there'll be lots of templates online or we just do your own. We need a simple headline, a uh, number of things of whatever you're including, maybe a table or a price list or whatever it happens to be, maybe a special offer that works well, and at the end of it a call to action which means basically put your phone number on that and your web address. Put those in bold, between those and the headline you've got probably a quarter to a third of the sheet already done for you use both sides because again it isn't much more expensive to get two sides printed than one um, and it works double duty in that case or you might even be able to find someone to go in with if there's two of you that complement each other then you could share the share the price if it really was that low on price but you've probably got more than enough offers and flyers work in near enough any industry they obviously work for tourist ones you'll see them in filling stations and tourist areas and whatever else near in any sort of touristy area you'll see leaflets for all the different things you can go out and do but they also work in other ones, you've, again you've had people hand them out in the street, you probably need a license, check with local council on that and you know as well as I do that most people avoid you in the street especially when you say would you like one of these and you haven't got a clue what it is so the automatic reaction is no. One quick and easy way around that they're going to be wearing a t-shirt or a jumper or something like that get one printed that's got your main offer, your three or four word headline on it so that people actually will know whether or not what you're giving out is of interest and then instead of avoiding you if they're actually interested in it they might even aim for you <laughs> sounds odd <laughs> try it a t-shirt printed t-shirt is what maybe a tenner if you're not business consumer then you wouldn't obviously go handing them out in the street instead of hand them out in retail parks industrial parks sorry um, There'll be trade parks, just go around literally door to door. Don't just push them through the door at night. They get ignored more often. Literally hand them over, say, hi, if you can get introduction to the owner, brilliant. But if not, just give them a cross. Because chatting to someone recently and they said, yeah, it's old fashioned, but we've tried it and we've, we've got business from it. And you'll be shocked because the fact you've actually taken time to do it, people may they're set in the ways, if you've got a printer you probably don't change to a new printer, you just use the old one you probably don't shop around each time, so if that was your industry you'd go out and give out printing leaflets with your lead offer on it or a special first time discount or anything like that and it could be actually anything And but a lot of industries people actually don't know they need you until they find out you exist so if you're that kind of thing, again handing out flyers door to door around a trade park half a morning or something like that you'd be surprised how much business you actually pull in. Part of the reason they're effective is that everyone is pretty much moving to the internet because they, they're told they have to. Um, so you'll actually stand out from the crowd whereas before if you're in business you might get someone knocking on your door several times a day now it's less often so the fact you've done it stands you out from the crowd and if all you're doing is sat there pressing refresh on your browser waiting for a new email to come in or waiting for pressing refresh hoping a sale will come in in actual fact, the, the time spent is well worth it and you can always put your phone, your home phone can divert to your mobile, whatever, so you wouldn't miss a call if someone did actually ring. Your phone probably picks up email, so again you wouldn't miss those messages. But you're out and you stand a chance of actually getting business. It really is effective. It, give it a try and don't just think, oh it's not for me or you know it's past say it was done 5, 10, 20 years ago and it no longer works. It does work. It works really, really well.